we wouldn't even be eligible for that uh, directly from the federal government anymore if they uh, used uh, MSAs and we were removed from that. Now on Local 5, the fight to keep their designation as a city. The possible new federal rules that could cost small communities big time. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Michelle McCormack. And I'm Tom Zalaski. The fight to save cities in Wisconsin. The federal government is considering changing what counts as a city. And this could cause major issues when it comes to funding in places like Oshkosh and Nina. Danielle Zulkowski has more. The Office of Management and Budget has a committee that is recommending that cities between 50,000 and 100,000 get removed as cities under the Metropolitan Statistical Area designation. The Office of Management and Budget is a federal agency, and local officials say their decision could have serious implications in small cities here in Wisconsin. And there's a lot of unintended consequences of that decision that I, I don't think the Office of Management and Budget are truly aware of. Officials say had this change become permanent before the coronavirus hit, it could have affected how much funding places like Nina got to fight the pandemic. We get a lot of benefits with HUD dollars and with uh, federal dollars, so um, it's important that uh, we keep this designation. Nina and Oshkosh are part of one metropolitan area called the Oshkosh Nina Wisconsin Metropolitan Statistical Area, and the combined area could lose funding if OMB does not reconsider. Nina would be equally uh, impacted in a negative way because even though the Office of Management and Budget correctly claims that they only use it for statistical purposes, the reality is that so many other federal agencies. Uh, default to using uh, the MSA designation for a lot of funding formulas. This issue has received bipartisan support from Senators Baldwin and Johnson and Representatives Gallagher and Grothman, who are asking the office to reconsider. In Nina, Danielle Zulkowski, Local 5 News. Thanks, Danielle. And Mark Roloff says one significant program that will be affected is the Community Development Block Grant Program from the Department of Planning and Urban Development. 